Nintendo, you took my videos down before when they shouldn't have been taken down. You've taken other people's videos down and channels away. Rest in peace, mom reborn. <laughs> you know what I mean? You've taken a lot. You've taken fan artwork that only helps sell your game. It's not like they're even selling it. They're just putting it up. So it's helping you. It's bringing awareness to your product. You have them take it down. There has been mods around your games that keep people playing your game because they have to buy the original version of your game in order to play the mod. You will have the mod pulled. Nintendo, uh, very douchey in a lot of their practices they use. Okay, just to give you an idea, I don't want to you know skip over that. Some of the practices I give you an idea is contract work. For those who don't know, contract work is good. There are a lot of contractors out there, and it's a beautiful thing, especially if you want to work, you know, be your own boss and kind of do you do contract work. The thing is, big companies, companies like Nintendo in this case, kind of use contract work. And it's almost like working on the back of these workers, and then they don't get the credit at the end. You know, so that's the downside of these contract workers. Give you an idea even further. I worked for Nike. I've also worked for Apple. I worked for William Sonoma, Pottery Barn. Hello. I worked for all these different companies. And guess what? Each and every one of them was contract work. Go figure. Did anybody know that? Now, I'm sure you can get in there free. I'm sure you'll just be, oh, yay, I am free. You know, hey, I, I got straight in there. You know what I mean? I didn't have to go through any type of different, you know, way you had to go in. I just got straight in there. Yeah, there's those people, but they're not many. The reason they do this is because they use it to control the work labor done. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I got to put the link back in there again. My man, I got to get you in there. Okay. I got you. I got you. Don't worry. All right. I got you. Bam. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to keep writing. So when I worked at the company Nike, I worked every single department. I worked at two different Nike locations at two separate times. So this is not one stint. This was me working one, working somewhere else and working back at another Nike. Okay. Each one of those jobs I got was through a staffing company. One of the staffing companies are actually the same staffing company Nintendo uses, which is Aerotech. Aerotech was actually the company that got me the job in Nike. When I worked in Nike, I worked the uh, receiving department first, which where trucks were coming in. We would simply take these different boxes and we had to organize them. So a lot of times it was shoes. We had to organize the shoes by nine and a half, tens, you know, ten and a half. We had to go through. That's what we had to do. Um, I moved from there. And, and believe me, Nike was a cool job. I got to take pictures with Roy Jones Jr. Stood next to him. Looked like I could beat his ass, to be honest. So, But you look at that man, Knuckles, trust me, I won't beat his ass. Okay. But didn't seem threat like any threatening thing came from Roy Jones Jr. I stood next to the guy and was like, yo, I can take him. No. Okay. But um, a lot of exciting things happened at Nike, but I was a contract worker. Constantly, I tried to get hired on full-time and I was not. And I would watch all these workers who were full-time who got to wear their normal clothes. They had a Nike badge. Everybody who worked for a staffing agency had to wear the blue Aerotech shirts. Terrible. You know what I mean? So you see all these people in blue and then you see these people wearing regular clothes and it makes you feel like, man, I want to be one of them. So you're working hard, hard, hard. So you get all this hard labor out of people and it's kind of like the NBA. Only what? Five percent of them are going to get hired on full time. The rest of them are going to end their contract and have to look for jobs elsewhere. This is the situation Nintendo did. And it was reported that not only this one person who wrote this huge article, by the way, but there were a lot of different women who reported sexual harassment within the Nintendo workplace. Let's let's first of all, now we're going to give a sad sound. They shouldn't have to face that. So when they face harassment in the workplace, a lot of them were contract workers. 
You know what that means? That if they even uh, sniffled their nose or breathed the wrong way, you're out of there. And believe me, they can terminate. It says it when you sign it. They can terminate your contract whenever. They can literally just terminate your contract. So you need to read your own contracts because a lot of times you sign in contracts, you ain't got no rights. They can end it whenever. So this, just give the example of this woman and we'll go through the article. So this woman working in Nintendo is constantly hearing the same thing we heard in Activision Blizzard, uh, Ubisoft, a lot of other companies where there's almost this frat society going on where women say something, dudes, oh, sexual, you know, things like this and all oh, this and that. But Nintendo's a company that you almost could not say a word against. You were fired immediately, I guarantee you. And there were jobs where I seen this. I seen it like in my face. I actually resigned from AT&T because I was on the news with an AT&T shirt in my truck. And there was a whole thing with corporate not liking me being on the news. So I had a choice. Either I was going to explain myself to corporate and corporate is going to have this big thing explaining, hey, you know, we got these employees just showing themselves on the news, doing whatever. It's a whole story. OK, I ain't getting into that. Or I can resign. It saves corporate the, you know, public outcry of why they did what they did. I also could file for unemployment. Um, I could look for a new job. They also would give me a letter of recommendation. So there were a lot of things that came with resigning, like corporate gave me the red carpet and said, sign here. That's what will happen at these companies. And even worse, sometimes they won't even roll out the red carpet. They just say, hey, you walk in. Sorry, uh, you can't work here. Go back to Aerotech. So these women did not deserve anything that they were doing. So let's go ahead and pull up the article so we can get more to specifics. And then I got some to bring in here. So let's let's pull up there. New report alleges sexual harassment and discrimination at Nintendo of America. All right. So just so you guys know, Doug Bowser has responded. They are investigating these allegations now. They're investigating them. So before it was some... Uh, you know, just allegations just put out there. Now Nintendo is doing a full investigation. So I got to give props to Doug Bowser. You know what I mean? Got to give props to him. So in a disturbing report published by Kotaku, it is alleged that contract workers working at Nintendo of America through contracting firm Aerotech have been subjected to years of sexual harassment and discrimination from both fellow contractors and full-time Nintendo employees. The report is the latest in a series of accusations against both Nintendo of America and Aston Carter, the company into which Aerotech was reorganized and through which many of the workers interviewed were employed. Kotaku spoke to 10 sources who worked at Nintendo in varying capacities in the last 10 years, and they described a testing department at Nintendo of America that often felt like a frat house, echoing similar accusations made against Blizzard in 2021. Damn. Incidents reported by contractors to the employees were allegedly played down. One interviewee claiming that the contracting firm, a firm warned her to be less outspoken. Damn, if that ain't such so damn mouth, I don't know what is. The article details how, poten how the potential of gaining a permanent role at Nintendo where full-time employees are known colloquially, wow, that's a new one, as red badges in reference to the unique company ID cards. Sounds similar, don't it, to the story I just said about Nike. Would often make alleged victims reluctant to report inappropriate behavior for fear of irreparably, uh, irreparably harming their career prospects. Didn't I just, yo, drop another bomb. I literally just said that. I literally just said that. Now, uh, I could go over and read the full article. I'm not going to read the full article. We don't have enough time to go through the full article. Also got to bring in some other people. But I want to say this. That is exactly what happened to me at Nike. I remember working at Nike for a year. This is in Memphis, Tennessee. So shout out Memphis, Tennessee, everybody out there, Memphis, Tennessee. There are two different Nike locations I worked at. One was on Winchester. The Ubby was right off of Shelby Drive. These two locations. OK, 
very big, multiple departments. Um, I was kind of known as a guy that go all over. Like I was really there at night. Like they love me. I swore I was going to get on full time. And after working a year, I realized they're not going to hire me on full time. They're getting great work out of me. Why? They want me to work there for years before they make me full time. By the way, full time, you get all your benefits, you get insurance, you get more pay. It's a lot of things. You don't get any of that as a contract worker. You, you hurt yourself. What's your life insurance plan? You know what I mean? They do have insurance through the staffing agency, but it's nothing like what Nike's offering. Okay. Yeah. Man, it's so bad.